Hey everybody, this is Jim. I wanted to get on here real quick and shoot a quick video for you because I was giving an analytics presentation the other day for the Chamber of Commerce and the Central Florida Chapter of SCORE Mentors. And um, I was doing it on the subject of analytics, obviously, and the subject of Tag Manager came up. And it, uh, it occurred to me that um, some people don't actually know how to use Tag Manager. So what I decided I would do is go ahead and, and perform some of the basic stuff on a demo site that I just purchased. I just registered a domain called Jim's, jimsdemosite.com, as you can see up here. And I have set up a basic WordPress installation and set up a theme. I've created this uh, Tag Manager container, which, you know, that is super simple. You just follow the prompts when you, when you go to Tag Manager and sign in. And I have gone to my theme settings, which I use Thrive Themes as my favorite theme uh, framework. Uh, I've gone in here, put the header script in where it needs to be, the body script in. And the scripts are, you know, I mean, they look, they look uh, pretty much just like an analytics script. It's just a tag manager script, that's all. So that in itself does not install the analytics. So I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And so now if you go to my website and view the source, you will see that the tag manager script is right here and then the one that's supposed to go in the body section is right here so the tag manager is installed and the other thing that you can do is go into tag manager and this is a very handy setting but if you go into tag manager uh, we're just gonna submit well let's add our let's add our analytics tag first so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to tags and I'm gonna hit new now before I recorded this video, I went to Google Analytics. I got a new property, so I'm going to get this property. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back here, and we're just going to call this GA Page View. The reason I'm doing that is because we're going to record every page that's viewed on the site with this tag. So GA Page View, I go to Tag uh, Configuration, and I choose Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. Track type is Page View. And then the Google Analytics settings, it says select a settings variable. We don't have one yet, so we're going to create one. What this does is it lets you define a variable that stores your Google Analytics ID. That way other tags that you create later on can just use that variable. And if for some reason you ever change your analytics property, you don't have to go back and change this thing in the 500 places. You just have to change it in one variable and it automatically updates. So we're going to create a new variable, and we're going to call this... I'm just going to call it GAID and Google Analytics settings and the tracking ID is over here in this property which I think I copied just a second ago but I'll do it again and we're just going to paste that right there save GAID so now we have our tag in there Google Analytics now we have our it's going to supply our Google Analytics ID now all we have to do is trigger it to fire on every page so we go down here under triggering we hit add a new trigger and choose all pages page view and that's it we're gonna hit save now what we're gonna do is publish our tag so you have to hit submit and just setting you know adding oops adding Google Analytics and you can see down here it shows you what you changed so we're gonna hit publish Okay, so now we're, we're there. We go back to our workspace, and if we want to verify that that's working, we just hit this preview button here, and it's going to come up and tell us we're in preview mode. So now if we actually go and we refresh this website, down at the bottom, you'll see Tag Manager comes up, and you can see that the Google Analytics page view is fired. And if you go over here to Analytics, and let's go to our real time, and overview you will see right now there is one user on the site so that means that our analytics tag is installed properly so I'm gonna hit pause here real quick and then the next video I am going to go over how to add a click to call trigger because and, and a click to call uh, goal in analytics because that was another thing that a lot of people did not uh, realize that you could do so it's a very simple operation and I'll walk you through it in the next video